I'm Anil Kumar and now let us explore exponential logarithmic application. How many years would it take for the amount to double if some amount is invested at the rate of 6% compounded quarterly? Now what we are given here is the rate of interest is 6% and it is being compounded quarterly. We want to find the doubling period, right? So the general formula for the amount is amount A equals to principal invested 1 plus uh, the rate of interest over I should say n times t and let me divide rate of interest by n when we are compounding it more than once in a year right so so the compounding periods becomes n and therefore the rate of interest will be divided by n and the compounding period is n times t where t is the number of years so that is the formula for the amount when principal is interested on a compound interest in this case we need to find the doubling period therefore the amount becomes twice the principal amount so amount could be written as two times the principal amount whatever be the principal amount it doesn't really matter right we are doubling it right 1 plus rate of interest is 6 percent so when I say 6 percent it means 6 over 100 right so the rate of interest r is 6 over 100 which is 0 0.06 we'll replace this by 0 0.06 divide by compounding period is quarterly that means 4 times a year so n is 4 to the power of 4 times t so that becomes the formula for us. Now to find time we can first divide by p so we get 2p divided by p which is indeed equals to 2 and that is equals to 1 plus 0 0.06 over 4 to the power of 4t. Now to solve this equation we can actually uh, do uh, trial and error you can substitute different values of t so that this component on the right side becomes close to 2 right for example you could write t as 9 10 11 12 and see what do you get so whatever value brings closer to 2 is your answer that's one way of doing it but we'll use logarithms to solve this exponential equation so let's take log on both sides uh, while taking logs, you can take log to the base 10 or e will take log to the base 10. So we get log of 2 equals to log of all this. So when you take log of this, you get 4 times t times log of uh, what we have here, 1 plus 0 0.06 over 4, right? You may like to review some logarithmic laws to understand this particular statement. So basically, when you take log both sides, then log of this number will be exponent multiplied by the log of inside number. Now we can isolate t. So t could be written as equals to log of 2. So we'll write here in the numerator divided by 4 times log of 1 plus 0 0.06 over 4. That is the value of t. So at this stage we can use the calculator to figure out the answer. So we have log 2 uh, divided by within brackets let's write down 4 log within brackets 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 4 bracket close. Now bracket close for the division part equals to 11.6388. So we get time equals to 11.6388, right? So rounding that to one decimal place, we get 11.6, correct? So approximately 11.6 is the duration of time in which at the rate of 6% compounded quarterly, the amount can be doubled, right? So we can say approximately 11.6 years. Now, as an exercise, what you can do here is you can see 
how will it change if I change the compounding period from quarterly to let's say weekly right so then what happens right so weekly means there are 52 weeks in a year you can divide by 52 multiply by 52 and then figure this answer out what we will do now here is we'll do another example and we will see what happens if we do it continuously right so if we do it continuously if it is compounded continuously let me do part b now for you part b in which we'll have six percent compounded continuously okay so if we are doing compounding continuously in that case the formula changes a bit so it becomes a equals to p e to the power of rt do you get the point so now the formula is e to the power of rt and we are doing com continuous compounding and since we want to double it so we are finding doubling periods so a equals to 2 times p so we'll do the same thing so 2 times p equals to p e to the power of rate of interest 0 0.06 and we'll find the time period okay so that means 2 equals to when you divide by p e to the power of 0 0.06 t now in this case since e is a base we'll take ln log to the base n so we get ln 2 equals to when you take log to the base n of e you get the exponent itself which is 0 0.06 t right now from here you can find what t is so t is ln2 divided by 0 0.06 now you can use the calculator to find this answer so ln is this function so ln2 divided by 0 0.06 equals to 11.55 so what we get here is 11.55 so it is kind of slightly lesser than that so you see if instead of quarterly compounding if we do it continuously uh, we save some time in doubling so it is much faster growth rate when you do continuously right so so if you do compare two decimal places you get 11.64 in the first case and 11.55 in the second case for the same interest rate so if the compounding period really affects the growth factor uh, for such applications correct so i hope that helps and in this video we have seen how you could use log to the base e or log to the base 10 to solve such questions thank you and all the best